Thank you to those who commented Shane McMahon in the last video. Stay tuned to the end for the day's keyword for a chance to be featured next time. Okay, so we made this video about the Vancouver Canucks, so it's only natural that we make it on the Montreal Canadiens as well, because the available information for this team... Oh man, there's so much to talk about that we can cram into a video over here, so... Without further ado, let's go over our big Habs update and talk about different things from the prospects to the players to the team to the guys on the team and what they're saying about the other players that are on the team and where everybody's lining up. There is a lot to get into. So first up on the list of stuff that I compiled over here for this video, we have ourselves a quick update on guys who were playing at the World Juniors. Now you kind of know what happened, right? Cole Caulfield ended up winning the gold medal. He had five points in I think it was like seven games or whatever, but... He's not the guy we're talking about in this segment. Instead, we're talking about Caden Gooley. Because Caden Gooley, he was a guy who actually was playing very, very well, in my opinion, in that final game against the Americans. We all kind of know this, but Gooley is a shutdown defender who knows how to break up plays from the opposition, and that's what he did. There were so many opportunities by the American forwards where they tried to come in, but Gooley just came out there and he was like, nah, man, you're not doing that. Here, let me just take that puck away from you right now. We had ourselves a source before the World Juniors actually ended, saying that NHL teams could have their CHL prospects playing in the AHL until their CHL league gets going. And that's something the Canadians might do with Caden Gooley. It would be a rare opportunity to work with a young CHL prospect at the pro level. Would obviously depend on whether the AHL gets started as planned in early February, and when the WHL or other CHL leagues would get started too, but it's an interesting addition wrinkled into this season. And we had ourselves confirmation later on saying that yes, Caden Gooley is indeed going to go to Laval after the World Junior. So, Caden Gooley's not spending any time off waiting for the Prince Albert Raiders to come back. No, no, no. He's going to Laval, and he's going to play in the AHL. Again, though, this is different. You don't usually see CHL caliber guys get that AHL opportunity because there's that agreement that prohibits that relationship to be formed. But with the pandemic brings different rules and regulations, which is why something like this is going to happen. Next up, we have what Claude Julien says about Caden Gooley and Cole Caulfield. This is what he said earlier yesterday. I found that Gooley is handling himself extremely well. He's a good D-man who's very intelligent. I see the potential our scouts saw in him. He's really having a very good tournament, and I'm really impressed first with his size, with his mobility, his first pass. He's got a good shot, as you saw from the goals he scored, and he's working really well. I feel Caulfield from last year to this year, not just necessarily in the tournament, the completeness of his game has really improved. We know that he has an extremely good shot, and that continues to be on display, but he's also got other parts of his game. He's skating well, making good plays, and the speed of his execution has improved a lot too. You can see that a year at university has really helped him, and he's a guy who continues to improve. What I like about Caulfield's game is that we know with his size, he's not a guy who's going to be killing plays everywhere and be playing extremely physical, but he's a guy that makes me kind of think of... And I've said this often, Patrick Kane in Chicago, a player who finds a way to disappear and suddenly jump into a spot on the ice where he'll be open to receive a pass and get a good scoring chance. It's a quality you don't find in too many players, but it's a nice quality, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it's a uh, very good praise here from the Montreal Canadiens head coach Claude Julien. Just hearing the words Caulfield and Patrick Kane in the same sentence, oof, that makes me feel very, very good. And before anybody goes out in the comments and says, oh, Caulfield was invisible in the World Juniors, you know, I said this about Byfield, I'm saying it again about Caulfield. I don't want to let five, six, seven games in a tournament where players can get hot and players can get cold define an entire player's career outlook. So for Caulfield, hey, he's going to be fine. I think, at least. We have more development for him to go through before he becomes a Canadian, and him not performing to the same standard that Zegers did at the World Juniors doesn't really mean much, in my opinion, in the short term at least. Next up though, speaking on the actual team and the team in front of Claude Julien, these were the Habs lines at training camp yesterday as tweeted out by John Liu. Thomas Tatar to know Gallagher. Okay, you're not going to break up that line. Tatar to know Gallagher was great. No changes. Okay, we'll keep it. Next up, though, Druan Suzuki Anderson. We saw what Jonathan Druan was able to do in the postseason as he started to get a little bit hot. Now he's playing with Nick Suzuki, a very nice, complete two-way center, and Josh Anderson, noted goal scorer, and a guy who could definitely help out some offense on this line. Imagine the nice sniping going on over here by Druan, by Anderson, and the nice playmaking going along, too, with the center and Druan, of course, because he's a playmaker as well. 
but this is a very nice top six as well. The top nine is looking very good too. They moved Tyler Toffoli to the left, which I think is very, very interesting. Now, we did say that he does prefer the left wing compared to the right wing, but I was just kind of under the assumption that because he played right wing in Vancouver with Pedersen and Miller, he probably would slot in on the right, but hey, I was wrong. He's going to play left wing with Kotkaniemi and Armia, so it's Armia who's in that top nine spot. Very interesting to see. And then all the other guys here, too. Take a look at this. Lekkonen, Evans, Byron for Leek, Paling, Perry, rounding out what is essentially our bottom line and our extra line here too. It's going to be really interesting having a conversation of what happens with Froelich and Perry for this Canadiens team as they enter the actual period of performing. But hey, you know, take a look at this. Corey Perry is technically the fifth line right winger right now. It sparks up a discussion on how exactly you want to deploy a guy because I know a lot of Canadiens fans are actually expecting Perry to be a part of the team. But the way things are right now, who knows if he's a taxi squad guy, a press box guy. Furthermore, what happens with Jordan Wheel because he's not on this lineup right now. Is he even guaranteed a spot? Next up though on the D pairings, this shouldn't really be a surprise. Sherrod Weber, Edmondson, Petrie, Kulak, Romanov, Ulet, Mete. So Romanov has already beaten out Victor Mete in terms of the depth chart and they do plan apparently to use him on the right according to this one lineup. Now obviously it's expected to change as things go forward towards the actual season, but hey, this is a nice decor. Romanov is a nice player. And then for goalies, Price, Allen, Primo, no surprises there. When it comes to the new two young centers on the team, though, Kotkaniemi and Suzuki, this is what Suzuki said about what he spoke about with Kotkaniemi that really got Habs fans excited earlier yesterday, too. We want to be important players for this franchise moving forward, and we talked about building our game towards winning a Stanley Cup, and he said this talking about the added pressure to him and Kotkaniemi in this upcoming season. And I love it. It's a winner's attitude right there. Kachin, Yemi, and Suzuki are going to be the one-two punch that helps this Montreal Canadiens team go to the promised land, or at least hopefully. Then we have some other quotes over here. This is from the Canadiens' official website. This is what Armia believes about Kot Kanyemi and how his game has evolved. He's a much better skater now than he was before, and obviously he's getting stronger every year. His hockey sense is also getting better. His abilities have always been good, but now that he's adding a little bit of size and strength, he's going to be really, really good. Here's what Gallagher had to say about Kotkaniemi. You've seen the growth. He's getting better and better, which is really exciting for our group. That's what he is. He's going to have to make a lot of plays, but I think most importantly, he's going to have to be prepared to shoot the puck. He's got such a good shot that maybe at times he could use it more. And the more he shoots, the more success we're going to have. So if he can make teams respect that, everything else is just going to come naturally to him and good things are going to happen. He's definitely a guy that when the puck is on his stick, he can make a play and hopefully it ends up in the back of the net. Let's also talk a little bit about what Nick Suzuki said about Josh Anderson. Hey, he's a brand new guy on the team that's coming off of a pretty low productive season where he was plagued by injuries. How's he like now? This is what Suzuki says. There was one play in practice where he just took off. Me and Druan were off to the side and we just looked at each other and smiled. We knew we couldn't wait to get that down our wing. He's big and fast, and I think he fits us as a line perfectly. And I love seeing that confidence out of Nick Suzuki, man. First, it's the Stanley Cup. Next, it's the fact that Josh Anderson is meshing very well. Claude Julien had some very good things to say about Suzuki. Potential to be an impact player, good maturity, good confidence, not arrogant, humble, knows his strengths, confidence level. He's intelligent, reads the play well, he'll make an impact this season. But Julian also said something that I wanted to highlight here about Corey Perry and what he'll bring to the lineup. We know what he can bring. He's a big body. We know that he has a lot of experience. He's a winner. He has had a Stanley Cup and represented Team Canada. No matter what people have said about him, that he may be slowed down a little bit, he still has a ton of assets. There aren't many players better than him on the power play, in front of the net, and around the net. He's an intelligent guy. You saw him today with his decisions with the puck or even without it. It's his experience. We added depth with guys like him. That when we look at last year, he was a very good player for the Stars. We saw him score big goals in the final. A winner is a winner, and I think it's important to have guys like that in the locker room and available for us on the ice as well. So who knows if Corey Perry is going to be given an actual role on this team, but to end everything off, let's just finish it off with one more quote here from Claude Julien in French. If we can remain healthy, I have high expectations for this team. There is no reason we cannot make it to the end if we stay healthy. And I love that. 
I've said it before in live streams, but I do believe the Canadians are going to finish first in the Canadian division. And if Claude Julien's going out here saying, yeah, you know, I think we can win a cup, man. Suzuki and Kakinami are like, yeah, I kind of want to win a cup, man. Let's do this. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, I think that feels pretty good, right? Talk to me in the comments what you think about the Montreal Canadiens, their players, the lines, all this stuff we talked about. Gooley coming to the AHL, Caulfield winning gold, Anderson, Perry, and all these other guys, Suzuki and Kakanyemi and Claude Julien's comments. Tell me in the comments what you think about all that stuff. If you made it to the end of this video, tell me in the comments, superior propane to let me know that you made it for a chance to be featured in the next video. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.